here with my first trimester update. So I have notes in my handy dandy book and I'm gonna try to go by dates. That'll be a little helpful for me to share with you guys. So if you didn't watch my last upload, which was my pregnancy announcement, how I knew I was pregnant video, but I talk about when my last cycle was, when I realized my cycle was missed for the month after, and when I took my first pregnancy test, first doctor's appointment, things like that. So my cycle was supposed to come June 22nd and it didn't, that was a Friday. I did have a streak of blood in my underwear, TMI, but that's just what happened. That Saturday and Sunday, I was cramping a little bit, so I still thought I was gonna get a cycle. Now, I never cramp during cycles. I never have to take any type of medication for cramps or bloating or fatigue. But this particular time, I was cramping, not really bad where I needed to take something, but enough where I noticed it. In my previous video, I also said that I didn't want any coffee, hot or cold. That clearly continued. July 7th is when I had a blood clot, which really scared me. Called the doctor and they changed my original appointment date to an earlier date just to hurry up and get me in to see what was going on. I did take a pregnancy test July 2nd and after that blood clot incident, I took one right after just to see if the test was gonna change, but it still said positive. Craving Skittles, bananas, things like that, a lot of fruits. So at least I was eating healthy with the craving of the candy, but that was the only candy I was eating. Those Skittles, the purple pack, only kind I like, and I only eat certain colors out of them. So pretty much I was wasting the whole pack because I only wanted the green, which apple is my favorite, the purple, and the blue. So July 20th, I had to buy a new bra because the bras that I got in March were way too snug for me. Like side boob, everything, extra cleavage. It was terrible. It was digging into my arms. So I had to chuck my Victoria's Secret bras. <laughs> didn't want to I was a little salty but I just went to Target my husband and I and we just got me two new bras a black and a brown and I wasn't sure what size I needed so I was trying to go off um, going up a size from my previous bra size which Victoria's Secret sized me as a 34 triple D but I don't think I was ever that size and then they got a little bigger um in july so i got a 38d even though i wanted to get a 38c but my husband was like no you need a d got home tried it on and it fit perfectly so i'm glad i listened to him so my first appointment with the OBGYN was july 25th and that was my pregnancy confirmation appointment everything went great he even did a vaginal ultrasound so that I could be at ease and I could get some sleep and rest. So I heard the baby's heartbeat, saw the baby's, you know, certain features like the head and the nose. And I got the pregnancy confirmation bag with different magazines and coupons in there. They give you information to go on the website so that you can look at foods that you should be eating and to stay away from, different medicines you can take if something's going on. So. I went to the website, which is very helpful, and it was just an awesome day. So at that appointment, I had not gained any weight. I was still 158 or 158 pounds, and I was a little worried, but the doctor told me not to worry about it. Everything is fine. It's okay not to gain a lot of weight your first couple of months. The weight will pick up. I was told when my due date would be, which is February 21st, 2019. So my birthday also is in February and my mom had the same due date for me. I just came two weeks early. So the first day I took my prenatal vitamin was July 26th, the day after my appointment. Um, I already had a new pack of prenatal vitamins from 
couple of months ago so i just started taking those of course he told me to stay away from caffeine which i did i just started drinking a lot a lot of water i still drink my juices i still like mini made fruit punch berry punch things like that i drink apple juice but i've been drinking a lot more water so around july 27th through 31st i noticed that i had really itchy nipples so bad that i would rub them i would scratch them with my nail and then i would have you know sore nipples or areola area and it would just turn into scratch marks and then it was bad so i would have to like just use vaseline and to remember not to rub or scratch them because that would just irritate the area but it was really bad for that whole week so the first of august i noticed that my normal typical acne turned into persistent acne and they were everywhere well all over my face i still have acne um pimples everywhere acne scars and of course my ob is like it's nothing i can do about it because it's my hormones and it'll go away as the months go on so I'm struggling with that. So you moms out there, if you have any home remedies, anything that's not harmful for the baby, please comment down below. I also decided to get some larger clothing items the first week of August. Like what I have on now, it's a really flowy dress that I got from Ross. So I wanted to get some things that wasn't tight on my stomach um, so that I wouldn't have to wear my dress pants all the time to work because I have to wear business casual clothing. And also I wasn't ready to show my bump yet I wanted to make sure I was out of my first trimester before I did so I had my second ultrasound appointment on August 7th which is technically my first ultrasound because I actually got a print out of the little one so here are my ultrasound pictures that I'm so proud of one is missing because I cut it for my first video um, so yeah it's on the thumbnail pretty much <laughs> but yeah here are my pictures i have to get a frame for myself and for my mom so that i can put one in there and i can hang it up post it do whatever i want and then the rest i'm gonna put in a photo album so my friend keeps asking me what was the heartbeat and i don't want to tell her so i'm not going to mention it right now because i know she's going to see this video but did hear the heartbeat everything was fine everything was great it was such a happy exciting moment very grateful very thankful just very content during the ultrasound the baby was moving a lot a lot a lot just side to side moving extremities and things like that and i was in awe watching it and the nurse just pointed out you know both arms both legs both feet things like that so i was just happy to hear that everything was good so week 12 was the week of august 9th so the second week of august and everything was fine nothing changed um my weeks change on thursdays so that's when i was 12 weeks and i'm glad that i made it out of my first trimester i'm officially 13 weeks and i'm just truly truly blessed so i can't wait to bring more videos on this channel to document my journey like i said in my first video i want to make sure i can look back on these moments with my child and have them to just have for the purpose of this was you at this stage and this is what I was going through or experiencing at this month so I'm really glad I'm able to do this like I said if you moms out there have any suggestions for what I can do for this acne then comment down below once again thank you for watching make sure you subscribe like this video bye What? <laughs>